When you begin AutoCAD 2012, the first thing you might see is the Autodesk Exchange window. We will explore this window later on. For now we're going to close it, but before we close it, let's uncheck the Show This Window as Startup option in the bottom left corner, and then click on the Close option in the bottom right corner. AutoCAD uses a standard Windows graphical user interface and we'll explore many of these features of the uh, graphical user interface as we go along. But for now I just want to point out a couple of uh, major things I think that are necessary to get started. First is the AutoCAD application button. It's the large um, button symbol icon in the upper left corner with the uh, red A and when you click on this application button you'll see many of your uh, file options like for starting a new file, opening a existing file, saving, saving as, exporting and, and so forth. Also at the top of the screen is a graphical user interface section called the ribbon and within each ribbon there are different panels for example the uh, furthest left panel is the draw panel then to the right of that we have the modify panel and then the layers panel and so on above the ribbon you can see different tabs and you can click on these tabs to access different commands that are available in AutoCAD and as you click on the tabs you see the ribbon changes to reflect the commands that are available within each of those tabs. For now we're going to stick with the home tab since that con contains the drawing panel which has many of the drawing commands we need and the modify panel which has the has most of the modify commands we'll be using to explore AutoCAD in this exercise. At the bottom of the screen there are a couple of things we need to look at before beginning. One is the command line and on the command line you can actually type commands if you know the name of the command or their shortcut. For example the line command uh, is simply called line and then on the command line it will show you uh, directions of what that command is wanting you to do. In the case of the line command it is first telling you to specify the first point of the line and then the next point of the line. Usually you can cancel any command by hitting the escape key or complete the command by hitting the enter key. Also at the bottom of the screen is the coordinate display that as you move your cursor or crosshair you should see the coordinates in the coordinate display change. Right now we're only seeing the first two coordinates change as we move the crosshair because we're working in 2D space and the coordinates represent the X and Y coordinate in our drawing space. Also at the bottom of the screen there are a number of icons that represent different toggles, things that you can turn on and off or change their settings very quickly by clicking on them a time or two. And right now they're represented by icons and in previous versions of AutoCAD, uh, you actually saw the names of these toggles by their words that they represented. And myself, I haven't quite got used, used to the icons and what they represent, so I still like to see the actual names of the toggles. So to see those uh, names again, I'm just going to right click on any of the toggles and where it the use icon option is checked I'm going to click on it so it now shows the names of those toggles once again. Alright I believe now we're ready to start uh, experimenting with some of the draw commands. Again we're going to be concentrating uh, around the draw panel of the ribbon in the top left corner of the AutoCAD graphical user interface. 
Now we're going to start out with the line command. You saw a moment ago how to type in the line command on the command line, but we're going to choose uh, the actual line icon from the panel. And with the line command, you can click a point to start the line and then click a second point to end the line, or you can keep going by clicking even more points to draw more lines. Also, at any time while you're drawing a line, you can right click and you can see a number of options pop up. Uh, for example, if you want to close this line back to its original, so it draws a line from its last point to its original starting point, you can choose the close option or you can choose the undo option if you wanted to undo a particular line segment or you can choose enter to uh, stop the line command. When you draw using the line command, each segment is its own individual entity. So like if I come around and click on these different segments of the line command that I just drew, you can see that each one can be selected individually. And I, when I say selected, you can see they've been selected. You notice as I clicked on them, they turned into little like dash lines and there was little blue squares that appeared on the line. These little blue squares are referred to as editing handles. Like for example, if I wanted to move the beginning point of this line segment, I could just click on its editing handle and move it somewhere else. Or I could click on the middle one and move the line all at once. Or I could click on the other end and move the ending point to a different point on the screen. I wanted to tell you about the line command and how you can click on each segment because the next command we're going to look at is the polyline command. Also notice as I clicked on these things and selected them, all of a sudden they became unselected. I, was, I just hit the escape key on the keyboard to unselect things in this example. Uh, we'll see other ways of unselecting objects when you select them later. But I wanted to show the polyline command next. And with a polyline, it's a uh, sequence of line segments that are all connected together. So in this case, we'll start with the polyline. And we'll draw a few segments. And again, when I right click, there's a number of options. And of course, we'll explore these uh, options later. But for now, I just want to end the polyline command by using the enter option. But now if I click on the polyline, notice how it selects all of the line segments. So that's one of the major differences between a line and a polyline, that a line just draws individual segments that are uh, that you can select them individually, whereas the polyline is one continuous segment that when you click on it, it uh, selects all of the segments. Notice on the polyline, when you click and select it and you see the blue editing handles, if you choose one of the editing handles where the segments intersect and move it, notice that it moves both the uh, endpoints of one segment and the other segment together at the same time. Compared to the line command, when you move one endpoint of its uh, segment, it doesn't move the adjacent line's endpoint. Let's look at some other options available with the polyline command. So we'll start by choosing the polyline command from the uh, ribbon. And I'm going to draw a couple segments. And then I'm going to right click and you'll see there's an arc option. If I choose on this arc option, notice how the polyline is now drawing arcs instead of straight lines. You can also right click again and choose some options within the arc option. Like, for example, if you want to choose the center point of an arc and have the polyline continue to draw an arc based around that center point that you show it. So you can kind of see how that works. One trick about AutoCAD is it always draws arcs by default counterclockwise. So that may be something you want to keep in mind when you click on the uh, center point option. 
Let's look at another option within the polyline command. In this case, I'm going to right click and choose the width option. And with the width option, you can specify the starting and ending width of a polyline segment. In this case, I'm going to make the starting width something small like 0.2 and the ending width 0.2. And you can notice how the polyline is now looking a little bit thicker. Also, you can make the starting and ending widths different sizes. Let's keep the starting width at 0.2, but let's make the ending width a little bit bigger, maybe 0.7. And you can notice effect, notice what effect that has on the polyline command. However, as we continue to draw polyline segments, it will keep the uh, last ending width that you uh, input into the system. At this point, let's take some time to experiment on your own using the line and the polyline command. One thing you might want to know before you start experimenting is how to erase things if you mess up or just don't like what you have. There's a little erase icon up in the modify panel in the ribbon. And with the erase command, you can click on individual things with the little pick box, the little square that's called the pick box. Or you can click out in space like to the left and then draw a box or create a box that goes around everything you want to erase. And once everything is selected and highlighted like you see on the screen in my example here, you can hit enter and they will be erased. Also, if you have things you want to erase, uh, you can erase them without the erase command just by clicking and dragging or clicking on them individually uh, and then hitting the delete key on the keyboard. So again, at this time, uh, just experiment with the line and the polyline command.